Hi everyone and welcome in this new video. I hope you are doing well. So uh, today I'm going to respond to one of the most requests question I get uh, is about my disability and um, how comes that I don't have arms. Maybe you know I was born without arms so I'm not an empty or I didn't have any accident or something, I was born this way. And my disability is what we call congenital, which is not the same um, as genetic. It's not genetic, it means that it's not hereditary. I don't have uh, more chance to have uh, a child with a disability than any other woman, because it's not genetic, but it's congenital which means that during um, my development, my, the, fetus, the fetus that I was, so during my mother's pregnancy, um, my uh, fetus, or the fetus I was, uh, develops uh, with a malformation. So this is uh, what we call congenital malformation. So we still don't have any explanation about uh, my disability. Um, we know that in the 50s and 60s, some babies were born without arms and without limbs due to the medication called Talidomide. That is a very famous story in, um, in the world and more in Europe. The Talidomide was a medication with a really severe uh, second effect and one of the severe sides effects of that uh, medication include the malformation of the fetus. But I was not born in the 60s <laughs> and uh, I was born much later and when I was born this medication even didn't exist anymore. So the, the reason why I don't have arms are still unknown today and they found out about my disability when my mother was pregnant of six months so which is quite late I can imagine that for a mom as a mom and I was pregnant uh, I think to realize that when you are pregnant at six it's really um, it can be really difficult the day I was born so my parents knew already I didn't have arms and the day I was born um, something really unbelievable happened. All the, the team, the hospital team, and there was also a nun uh, who was asked to come to, to assist my, my mother, because I don't know, but uh, at this time, I was born in 82, at this time the, the father didn't enter during the labor. So there was a nun that was uh, by my mom's side, and after she gave birth to me and everything, everybody was, I think, a little bit shocked to see me. Um, hello! <laughs> uh, so the first question uh, everybody asked to my mom was, uh, do you want to put your baby in an institute? An institute of disabled babies. And uh, my mom asked her, do you have children? And uh, she said, no, have you already been pregnant or have you already given birth to a baby? And she, of course, um, responds her, no. So, she, so my mom told her, so please don't tell me what I have to do. The day you can feel what is to be a mom, I would maybe uh, consider the fact to listen to your advices. But in the meantime, just sh <laughs> she said that to her no. <laughs> they, they, they were not fighting, but yes, my mom was really, really angry about this nun and uh, all this, the team was there. Okay, calm, please, don't worry. We are just asking and she was like, what a nun is going to tell me what is to be a mom? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not any discrimination about none and about um, any religion, but it's just so funny. Um, I can imagine me as a baby and just uh, discovering this absolutely crazy world that my mom is having <laughs> a fight with a none. 
uh, it was quite surrounded with a lot of worries because my, my parents were parents for the first time so I can imagine they were quite uh, worried about what will happen to me and how they will educate me and if it would be possible to go to the school um, and to have a normal life so it was quite uh, difficult for them so after that uh, I don't know if you want me to, to, to continue this story of my life in general how did I grow even if it's not really taboo I know that those episodes were more about taboo and disability but uh, we can also have other topics less taboo since I don't receive a lot of taboo questions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me if you want me to have a next episode and I see you very soon. Bye bye! <laughs>